Feature Friday. The freshest. <laughs> okay, you guys sent this over, and I was like, that cannot be real. I, like, I, there, there, there's no way this footage hey, is true. remember when, when uh, we saw a video of Leia with Menudo? With yes. His name, uh, she was like 14. Yeah, she was like 15. I know. Madness. But this is her at nine years old. Yeah, singing with Kula Desma as well. Like, oh. So, like, let's talk names, all right? So, yeah, there's their look adorable together they have the same color outfits and i am <laughs> literally head over heels over this oh let's give it a watch so this Very is yeah i don't know what this was for or what i don't know so i'm sure you guys will let me know some rare footage oh how adorable her daughter is literally okay lea salonga's daughter is literally her copy or the carbon copy look at that it's as if she came out of her yeah as if you know <laughs> I love this outfit! <gasps> I love the 80s, bro. That's adorable, dude. Type of child, like because mm -hmm. you've had a chance, you know, something we're discussing. Sometimes we talk about it all the time, where you know, Bali had a period where she was helping a lot with like uh, theater shows, but from the behind the scenes, and a lot were well, a lot of them were obviously little ones doing, you know, they were beginning and doing like uh, uh -huh. after school shows and stuff like that. And Bali would kind of be there, and because uh, she was also training, mm -hmm. and we would discuss a lot of the time. How incredibly difficult is to find a kid that can sing in, on pitch? Yeah, and, and maintain it repeatedly. And I would dis and I would compare it to at that time I was kind of volunteering at my after school <laughs> tennis clubs for the little ones, trying not to kill each other with the racket. I actually, can't <laughs> use that word on YouTube. Unlive each other with the racket. Yes. And um, we would discuss that, like to find a kid that's consistent mm, is certainly the most difficult, difficult thing. Yeah. Not talented, but consistent. And that's, that's a tricky thing because uh, you can find kids that can sing in tune repeatedly under very various uh, different scenarios. But what happens when you put a, a child that also their, their concentration span is really short, <laughs> right? When you have a nine-year-old, they, they might concentrate for 45 minutes and that's it. The rest of it well, is nine. like... Yeah, for especially when it's something that is repetitive. True. Something especially because it, say it's just one song that they're gonna sing, yeah. one piece. Uh, the repetition becomes very dull for children overall, right? Mm -hmm. I, even for adults, repeating stuff over and over, the same phrase, the same song, it's tedious, and uh, that takes the uh, the the repetitiveness, the reliability aspect of it away from, especially in kids. Uh, instead of setting uh, muscle memory, kind of takes the child away from the performance. Um, you gotta have to keep them remind them all reminded all the time that it's for fun, that they're supposed to be feeling something and add s different edges to the same thing because they become very accustomed to it and it actually they underperform um, because they settle in the mm. piece, right? Uh, so to find a child that under a lot of pressure because the, this this type of scenarios have a lot of pressure around it can sing in pitch and perform emotionally connected to it yeah you want that makes that makes a one percent type of human matter of you fact know? just as adults as well you want to try and find someone who is consistent in that aspect in the rehearsal room and then in the live performance mm. you obviously get the freaks where they're good in the rehearsal room and then they're even better live. Mm. Um, but those, like, they're anomalies, so that's fine. You don't worry too much about them. If they come, they come. If they don't, they don't. But to find a kid who's consistent in both, he's yeah. good in rehearsals and good in performances, that's, that's... And can handle the pressure because that type of pressure brings out different sides of in, in the person. Imagine in a, chill, in a child, right? So it's completely different. Um, but yeah, this is rather impressive. Not for the fact that it's Lea Salonga, but for the fact that it's... <laughs> are you alright? I don't know. <laughs> but for the fact that you're seeing a child uh, perform under such high pressure environments and that's, that's impressive alone. <laughs> oh. 
Oh, oh hello. Hello. Sorry. That's all right. I don't know what happened. There you go. learn to connect really early on too. There are some naturals in this world. No, she's coached and this was a natural. <laughs> beautiful, beautiful stuff. Who can say where he may Gorgeous modulation, my god. Done. We just a grasp on a lot of things. Oh, oh my God! Yeah, what that, the that's fuck? why. That's why she knows what to do. Because even just by the the mere fact Ooh, that she's this. singing with Cool Ledesma in this in this environment, even if it's just for imitation, uh, for trying to match up to Cool, but just by <laughs> just by copying and replicating. You're already winning, bro. Like, what the hell? You're already winning. The sweetness that she that she was able to emulate right towards the end, that last note, obviously coached, yeah. obviously advised, but it's so brilliantly done. Obviously, to to ease that transition between the childlike voice and the mature, mm -hmm. super sweet. She steps up. Oh my god! Very cool. It's I wonder what wonderful. wonder what Leia thinks of this. Like, no, yeah. yeah. I, I mean, obviously. Can't be critical. You were a kid, but I wonder the memories that kind of spark. Of course, you know? of course. Like Very growing up with those type of voices, like you can see now, yeah. the clear influences that came out later, mm -hmm. even before she, you know, broke through I know, internationally. You know, Cool Edesma was like, yeah, she must be what? Like, she must have been in the industry at this point, like in 30, 40 years. No, yeah, I would think so. My God, Jesus. <laughs> I hadn't even thought about Dude. it. Dude. How old do you think she was here? Like 16? Nah, like 21. Nah, I think she must have been like late teens. Cool it is. In the 80s. She's she's 66 now. Oh my goodness, yeah. what? She just doesn't look, look at it. Look at those pictures though. She doesn't look it at all, man. That's what's so bizarre. That's why I never know. I don't know what to guess anymore. Bro, that's mad. Yeah, yeah. Sing it again, Oh my god! Crying. So 80s, very 80s. So 80s. It's more, it's more. 
to live in love with my people and you. <laughs> She's gorgeous, I think. I believe the children are the future. Each of the women that come lead the way. God, what a voice. But it changed your style, interesting. We went from lyrical classic to edge edge to classic not so much it's very it's Sorry, very lyrical. 1950s type of lyrical singing and then it would change into a completely modernized contemporary vocals very yeah. trendy in the 80s oh my god what a voice you can see yeah, and, and it's also interesting to see what i'd imagine were his strengths you know mm. like obviously cool Desmas, one of their strengths is certainly lyrical but I think she's an absolute powerhouse of vocals, though. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. Well, maybe because of the lyric. I don't know what came first. It maybe what she was sort of what she dabbled her toes in first. I would think more developed. towards. I think more because of the refinery that you were hearing towards the first half. I would think perhaps more towards the lyrical singing rather than the contemporary. Because that progression, well. that progression is very easy, but it's really hard to do it the other way around from yeah, yeah. contemporary into lyrical. That's it's pretty hard. Yeah. Uh, I, these two numbers uh, was pretty he hectic because she was sweating yeah, yeah, she's like sweaty. crazy, right? So either was a, a costume change or a crazy number before. Maybe it's already very hot in that venue. And uh, it, the st stability, like the absolute unchangeable stability that she has uh, to... Uh, uh, breathing wise like her breathing technique is just absolutely impeccable maintain such complete airflow in the singing is constant and there is not a shadow of shaking of you know struggle nothingness and that only comes from being absolutely grounded with being absolutely accustomed to performing in this environment so um it just speaks of a certain level of, of technical and academia in, in the way of singing, right? It doesn't come, you don't stumble upon it very often. Um, there are many singers that have exposed similarities to this in various performances actually from the Philippines. But in here particularly, I believe that you got a pretty pretty great example of how to understand what contemporary and lyrical singing can do together it, from a technical standpoint uh, is incredibly difficult because of the continuous uh, and long melodic lines uh, that breathing is just something else to master it's it, and it's, it's actually been forgotten because it's so difficult to come by and once you get it right it's like it's hard to adjust it to something else. Yeah, I think it also comes with a connotation of yeah, it's a, it's a specific crowd that seems to also absolutely be yeah. marketed towards. I mean, it seems in theatre it's still very uh, prominent to a certain extent. You know, lyrical singing if it's going to be prominent anyway. Um, but mm. it it yeah, certainly so contrasting to see someone then switch you know between like heavily lyrical singing and then to contemporary pop. <laughs> well, but you can s still hear the the similarity, like the the influences and and certain techniques that she's uh, including into the contemporary singing, especially in those long melodic lines. They they maintain such softness, but they're so so perfectly grounded, which is very juxtaposed in in from a technical standpoint. Because for for it to be very light and very airy. Uh, we often lift our larynx too much and lose grounding um and then that that you know takes away the resonance takes away the 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 girth of the voice itself uh but she she has it down like. i'd love to know what the relationship was between uh, maybe if leah has spoken before what they relate or maybe still is uh between them them two because that's obviously you know to perform from such an early age mm -hmm. together that's certainly uh it does have it by coincidence. I know, don't so. think so. I, I think she think was so. chosen on purpose. <laughs> I think so too. <laughs> Eyes of 
país. Oh, ¡Qué bonito! Cool. Cool. It was like the name of the show. The cool. Cool on the show. Yeah, that'll be dope. The cool show. The cooler, that's my show. Well, because what was Pilitas one? Or Pilitas was a... Uh, the talk show was like a, an evening with Pilitas. Ah, like uh, right? yes. Maybe cool. And then Sharon Conetta had her Sharon Conetta show. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Yeah. They were very popular, so these shows were... Because they, they were also such cool personalities. Absolutely. That seems to happen in the Philippines, where not... You know, the singers are not only good singers, but they also are, you know, like, funny fantastic. people. Fantastic, yeah. Fantastic good personalities, and yeah. Not, that doesn't happen to see... Uh, that doesn't happen to be as frequent in other parts of the world where the singers are also nice personalities. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're just good at singing, and that's okay, too. Yeah. But anyway, so let us know... You know, perhaps I know ah. people from... You know, different parts of the world, but also from different like demographics. Watch, maybe you were there live. Mm-hmm. Um, so maybe you catched it on TV when it aired. You caught it. Oh, ca- caught it. Bloody hell! Catched it, God. But uh, yeah, uh, yeah. Let us know what you thought about it, and <laughs> goodbye. <laughs>